Okay, so as you can see, we have uh, a camera issue. The camera lens is not broken. So the camera assembly comes as this. Um, ideally, if it's not too much of a pain, I'm going to basically just use the camera we actually need, which is the wide angle. Um, but if not, then I have this on standby. Uh, we'll find out shortly. Um, I'm gonna walk you through how to do this uh, step by step. Um, it's not a bad idea for you to have maybe an extra um, back glass, but if you follow these steps uh, and you take your time, you should be able to do this without cracking the back glass. In order to get the back glass off um, without breaking or without scratching um, or removing some of the paint, uh, these are the techniques that I use. Uh, I start out with using uh, an iFixit uh, Jimmy. Um, I've actually filed down the edge of this to make it easier to slip in. Um, I then use uh, a combination of heat and uh, isopropyl alcohol. I use 99%. Um, and then once I sort of have an in, um, I use these, um, but you can also use a playing card. Uh, a credit card is about twice as thick uh, as you would want it to be. So if you can find a playing card, um, cause I'll do a lot better, but essentially what I do is I heat up a portion of the side. Um, I then slip in this, uh, then use a little bit of alcohol. Um, and you don't need much alcohol after that. You just need sort of heat, but it goes something like this. So once we're here, you sort of get a few drops. You want to use a rocking back and forth motion, and you also don't want this blade to go in very far. The rocking is going to ensure that you're not scratching the glass. And then from here, um, you can then use plastic and this will practically ensure that you're not going to crack. Uh, now getting past the corners is a little difficult. Now I don't want to melt this, so I'm going to move this up. After it's a little bit warm, once again, we're going to use the rocking back and forth. Now it's very important, um, at least on a lot of models, you have flex cables that run from the charging port all the way up to the board, which is about right here. Um, and you wanna make sure that you don't accidentally sever them. It's pretty easy. So you really don't want your um, opening tool to go in very far. So here are your flex cables. So obviously when you're entering, you, you don't want your opening tool to be inserted more than about maybe this much. Once again, rock back and forth. And if you can apply upward pressure here gently Notice my left hand uh, is using small incremental up and down movements, just testing to see 
uh, how loose the adhesive is. You don't want to do it all at once. As you can see, it's becoming easier. So I do small little motions. Let me get to about right here. And at this point, you can just separate like this. So um, we need to, before we disconnect the battery, we need to remove the wireless charging coil, which I believe is one, two, three, four, five. And they're all the same size. We're gonna heat up this portion right here. So first of all, if you've got this far and you think, hell no, I do mail-ins. Second, I also buy iPhones. Working, broken, whatever. Even if it looks like this, I'm still interested. Link in the description. Let's make a deal. We can then come and once again, be careful because we have some flexes that are right here, but you can sort of just lift up gently. But you disconnect your battery right there. Wonderful. And then from the looks of it, we're going to have to remove our board. So we're going to have to disconnect all of these flexes, pull out, uh, this is our ear speaker. So our pen flex is right there. We have an antenna right here. Our front camera is right here and then we have all of these flexes and then another antenna and one last flex right here next we have this uh singular screw and then our board comes right out so we can take our screen housing assembly set it aside and then our camera assembly and this is our board So as you can see, we just have adhesive on the underside of here. That fits in like that. All right, it should then look something like this. Make sure to peel off your cover if you have one. So flip your board over. We then get to about right here. 
and you can start snapping everything in. We come back with our camera assembly. So once we're here, flip your board camera assembly up. And it's probably easiest to just get it in from this side. Also make sure to fold over your front camera or else that's gonna get in the way. And then our singular black screw is right here. We can then start connecting our flexes. Don't connect your battery. So now we can connect our battery. And I always like to QC quality check the device. I'm glad that I QC'd the device before I sealed it up because both this camera and this camera, the flex looked like they were connected, but they were not. So it's always great to know this now as opposed to you know, having to spend twice the amount of time disassembling the device. All right, so if you can, I got some little uh, little hair fiber on this lens and you don't want to blow on it because you could accidentally spit. Yeah. And then, forgive me, um, I don't have a new or Samsung gas. So we're just gonna go with B7000.